Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I wanted to show you all how changing this one setting in the game config can give you a pretty decent FPS boost in Fortnite. That's right guys, this one config setting that not too many of you will know about, as it is relatively new, it does actually give you an FPS boost. Now I will say this right now, the results of the boost will vary depending on what PC specs you guys have got at home. I am still hoping though that all of you do go ahead and try this like after you do watch this video and I want you all as well to comment your results that you get in the comment section below. Before I do go ahead though and show you guys all this new config setting I'd appreciate it greatly if you could one drop a like on this video, two subscribe to the channel if you are new and three use code code life in the Fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins or cosmetics. By doing literally any of those three that I've just mentioned right there you'll be all helping me out a ton. So if you do thank you all so much. Now let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do is you want to head over to your Windows desktop and press the Windows key and R at the same time. This will then open the run box. In here you want to type in percentage sign local update a percentage sign and press OK. Then you want to open Fortnite game saved config and windows client and in here you want to find the game user settings config file right click on it and open its properties in here you want to go ahead and untick the read only box after doing that you want to close the properties down then right click on the game user settings config file again and click edit in this config file right here you want to scroll down to this section on screen and you want to find a setting called shading quality by default this setting should be set to number three you want to change that from number three to number zero which for those curious of what this does it's pretty much what you'd imagine it to do it turns the shading quality in fortnite down to the lowest value possible which is zero by the way guys as well if you don't see this shading quality setting which some of you might not see it you can do two things to get it to appear you can do the first option which is manually add it in by yourself by just literally typing in the code as I'm doing right here. And the second option you've got is to reset your Fortnite config completely. To do this, firstly, close everything down. That's Fortnite and the Epic Games launcher. You then want to locate the Fortnite game folder. Right click on that folder and rename it to another name than just Fortnite game. I recommend just adding a number one to the end of it. Then after you've done that, when you open up Fortnite, your config will be completely reset. Don't worry, it doesn't change anything too major. The only thing it does actually reset is your graphic settings, which you will have to go through and redo all of those. For the rest of the settings though, like your keybinds and all that stuff, those are all saved on the cloud, so those don't need redoing. Once you guys have gone ahead though and changed the shade and quality setting to number zero, you then want to save the config file by clicking file, then save. Once saved, you want to close it down, right click back on that game user settings config again, and now you want to go into the properties and retick that read only box that we unchecked earlier. It's super important that that is reticked. Then after doing all of that, you guys are now good to go ahead and test it out for yourselves. Just simply boot up Fortnite, play a few games and let me know in the comment section below if your game feels smoother than before. For me, after I did go ahead and change the setting, my game did feel a little bit smoother. It wasn't anything too crazy, like that's why I'm being honest here guys, it was only slightly smoother, but the point I'm trying to make here is that my game did feel better overall. Like just from changing that one setting that took me literally like 20 seconds, it made my game feel a bit smoother and I think that is amazing. Like even though my game did feel like it only went up about 20 to 30 extra frames than what I normally would get. That to me, that does make a pretty significant difference. I know for some of you out there, that might be a low FPS boost in your eyes, but what you've all got to remember is that little small FPS boost for me could be a huge FPS boost to someone out there that's got lesser specs than what I've got. So because of that guys, that's why I just had to make this video today and encourage you all to try this out for yourselves. But yeah, collectively guys, we should be able to find out if changing this new config setting is really worth it or not. I definitely think it is as it did work for me. For you guys though, the results could be major or very slight. Overall, it's worth trying in my opinion. That is all I've got for today guys. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and use code life in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks for watching, hope you all have a great day, peace.